Happy Monday, crafty friends. Hello, everybody. Bestie's it's on the line. Raining. Oh. It's the raining again. Uh, days and days and days. Days and days. Yesterday was the most beautiful 65 sunny yep. spring day. The tulip trees are blooming. The daffodils are blooming. The red buds are blooming. And it is the beginning of February. What in the world? And, it's Tennessee. That's what and we're under water besides okay so this is going to be a tutorial about flowers on a string that's what i'm going to call them flowers on a string, flowers on a string. they're not all on strings but you know that's what we're going to call them so here's some examples of ones that i've made and here's some examples of some fun ones that i've made with sequins or i guess these are still called sequins just the solid flat round ones look at these flowers i've been, I've been loving them okay so i'm good this is a tutorial so one thing at a time let's push these out of the way okay so you have your supplies <laughs> so you're going to take your scissors and cut it just kind of let your scissors chew it all the way around okay and look what happens instant flower oh my goodness yeah look at that you. Think that's something like that. Okay, well, I did. So, <laughs> so then some of these I sprayed with Espresso. Yeah, I said that. Distress spray. I said depress spray. <laughs> Distress spray. Some of them I squirted watercolor down on my mat. And kind of dipped them and rolled them where I wanted to. Some of them I had watercolor pens. And that's what I'm going to use right now. Let's see what color we would like to use. Um, probably should have done that first, huh? Well, you know how that goes. Let's see how pink this is. Okay. Oh, that's a pretty color. Okay. So, you know, this is all about experimenting with what different things look like. So, here we go. So, you take said flower on string. You <laughs> open it up. And then... You do however you want to to absorb all of the color. I guess I should, should not have not thrown my eggs with the white because I don't need them anymore. Yeah, you never know. When, when something like this might come in handy. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yeah. And know. these came from. I don't know if they all look like this on the inside, which I was a tad bit, um, uh, let me see. I'm looking for something, uh, surprised. Okay, we'll, we'll say that. Is that they have this cardboardish hard paper in there, too. And I'm sure that they do that when they're being manufactured, uh. To hold the cotton together because it's pressed. Um, so, look. See? See, it's pressed really, really tight, but it's layers like that. See? So, that's what that looks like. Okay. So then, okay. So you have this... What I think is a beautiful little flower. Now, I've used, um... Cotton flowers. <laughs> yeah, they're 
other cotton, cotton flowers on a string. There you go. Okay. So I'm going to put, I think I'll put a pearl in the middle of this one. So I'm just going to open that up right there a little bit. Cut this pearl off. Stick some glue in there. And you can use, just like with any flower, you can use anything for your center or nothing for your center. And then just fluff it and put some leaves on it. And there you go. Now, um, to make the edges... is a deeper color it's actually more like an orange okay so it's very absorbent obviously but if you just tap around on the very tops of the layers it gives you um, you know the feeling of petals like a chrysanthemum would have lots and lots of layers And you know how you see those chrysanthemums that are dyed and they pick up, yeah. you know, any yeah. kind of color. Right. Okay. So that's how this, how this cotton does the same thing. Okay. And you can, like, you can just keep working it and get it however you want it to be. And then, you know, you can cut the string off and add you some leaves. And let me clean that up a little bit. Okay, so, you know, I made these. And let me see if I'm getting that good yet. This one doesn't have anything. I glued a little piece of paper on the bottom of it and I haven't put anything inside it yet because this is, I, I cut. I make three cuts, essentially. I make one with a string on it and one good one, which would be this one. And then sometimes this one doesn't make it because it's so rough on the bottom. Um, but anyway, you can see how that would look in a in a cluster. And, they're, and I mean, I think they're very, I think they're beautiful myself. They are pretty, but you know. But, you know... Yeah, no. So let's see. Let's see if I can make one out of this one. You know, it's all about... See, I'm going to throw that part away. Although, I don't know. Also, if you can unroll it, you could make a really big flower. Like that. Or you can pull the layers apart. And, and sort of fold it like a ribbon flower would be folded. A ribbon flower. I don't know about that. You don't? I don't know about a ribbon flower, no. And y'all all know how we make a rosette, so just pretend this is a piece of paper. Put you some glue right here if your glue gun is feeding. Attach it. That looks just like a uh, morning glory. I mean, it's white, yes, but you can make it blue. Hold together. Cool. Yeah. So, you know, it's just all about... Making something a little different. See, that could lay down like that. And you can also stretch and pull and, and make it kind of ruffledy. Also, your other tools that you use, you can, um, I got two, not enough space and 
too much stuff. I see. And this is sort of kind of the way you felt, you know. Of course, this is not felt. It's cotton, but... You know, just work with it. Make it whatever you want it to be. Work with it, man. Yeah. And then, you know, you don't want to glue something to the bottom, like a piece of paper, for a base to give it something to hold on to. Okay. You can trim it to make the edges more even. You could bend it, you know, like a flower, like it would be facing down. You know, the possibilities are endless. Endless, I say. Endless. Yeah. So, as easy as that, you too can make a flower on a string. Or you could pile it up, up, and up if you wanted a huge flower. Now, something like that is too big for what, mostly what I would use it for. Okay, wait. Just hang on a minute and let me spray this with some Distress Spray because I just have to show y'all. It's amazing to me. How's it going? How's it going? You know, color makes a difference in everything. Oh, Look at that. Look at that. Hey, I know, I know. And so, if you stretch it a little bit and let it go, it makes like a ruffle. A ruffle. That's all, folks. Makes like a ruffle. Look at that. I think they're beautiful. Okay, so there it is. There it is, and there you have it. Now, the next thing is that while I was playing, I was like, I have this, I got these at Hobby Lobby one time, and I have them in several colors, obviously. You can see I have them in white, blue, and pink. But I was thinking, wouldn't those make some pretty flowers? I wonder, I wonder. Okay, so this I cut cut them into petal shapes. This I used my, these kind of scissors on and cut them into petal shapes. So the edges of the flowers have shapes. But then all you do, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut one. So they have a hole. So basically you're just gonna make it into a petal shape, okay? Easy enough, anybody can do that, right? There's a petal, okay. Now watch what happens. When you take this tool and rub on this fella, just like you would a paper flower, okay? Look what it does to it. I think that's beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, and the more you rub, you know, in the different direction you rub and whatever, you end up with a beautiful petal. Okay, so I'm going to make one right quick. So, are you, what are you using right now, since I can't see what you're doing? The big sequins. Okay. The big flat sequins. I, they're called something. Uh, and you cut them? Parallels. Are they parallel? Or is that, a, is that a food thing? That might be the sprinkles that you put on cake. Hmm. I have no idea. Well, they're round. And so, you know, typically you're, you don't have a round petal. So, I've cut them petal shaped. And I've I've used four and I've used five. And like that one's four, that one's five, that one's five. That one I cut even in a wonky way. Um, this one I tried to fold it. I mean, it's okay. I don't really like that one. But now, look at that one. Those were, um, those sequins actually have a hole in the middle. And uh, and so I didn't want the hole to show, which it probably wouldn't, you know, in the end. Okay, so all you do is roll it around. You can make it go, you know, you can turn it right side up, upside down. You can make your petals face however you want to. And you can layer them, but these are so, uh, you know, they have that iridesc iridescence. And I think they're pretty... I don't think they need a bunch of layers, and that way they're not quite so, you know, they're dimensional, 
they're three D, but they don't. Um, they're not going to be hard to get in an envelope if you're putting them in a, on a card or, you know, something like that. Okay, so see, there's no special method to this. None. And this is just a piece of thick foam. Okay, so there's that. Then you put a dab of glue. Put a petal on. Dab of glue. Put a petal on. Dab a glue, put a petal on, and I have enough glue to put this petal on. Okay, so while it's still a little bit wet, you get it like you want it. And try to hold it there for just a second. Easier said than done. Not really. It is, it is easy. It's just giving me a little bit of a issue right now because I'm doing it on here. Okay. I guess I need to make, add that to my list of things to do while you're here. You do? Well, I could. Yeah, you could. And they're not too big to go on a card? No, they're not any bigger than, you know. They just look like they'd be big, you know. No, they're not. Pretty. They're not. Okay. So there you go. There's your flower. And then you can put anything you want in the center of it. I have a bunch of these that came from Allie. So. Yeah, I have not ordered anything from Allie because every time I go in there and I see something, they charge you shipping. Well, so you I'm have gonna... to you have to shop from. There's there's stores and then there's stores. Look at that! Don't y'all think that's pretty? I do. I'm sure it's beautiful. It really is. And look at the little, look at, look at the fun that would add to something. Let's see, let me find something laying around here. Okay, here's a card base I'm not finished with. Okay, so let's say, let's say I put that there, and that there, and that there. Well, maybe like that. Isn't that pretty? I love it. And love then it, love it, love it. and then let's say we put this here with maybe mix it up some, you know? Uh -huh. Look at that. I think those are beautiful. Okay, well then, so there it is, ladies and ladies. <laughs> Gentlemen, if they're already out there that would like to have a new craft to do. <laughs> but they're super easy. And, you know, look at this one, how fluffy it is. Do you need to have a patent on that? Uh, no. No. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I would just be happy to share my idea. How about that? Okay. Yeah. Look how pretty this one's going to be. I might put like several. I wonder what this would look like in there. <clears throat> with with maybe five of those in there, wouldn't that be pretty? With five. Five little pearl, little oval shaped pearls. Yeah. Yep. I only have three over here right now, but anyway, y'all get the idea. Um. You know, the possibilities are endless. You just gotta play with it. Maybe I'll just put three in there. Squeeze it together at your base. Add you some glue. Let it dry a minute. This would probably be good if I put a piece of 
paper on the bottom of it too, just so it had a flat. Now let's see. Oh yeah, it needs two more. Isn't that pretty though? You see it? Okay. Alrighty, well there it is and there you have it. There you have it. A new craft for you to try. To put in your tool belt of crafts. <laughs> oh, I, thought, I forgot to show you this. Wait, I forgot to show you using my decorative scissors. Okay, so if you want to do it like this, you would cut your petal. Because I, I didn't think this would work. I didn't think it would cut this. But it does. See? So then you have a petal with, you know, a little ruffle. Ruffle tuffles. Like those scissors I have? They'll cut them. Yeah, yeah. That's odd. I know. I didn't think it, they would, but we'll they did. So, there you go, and there you have it. There you have it. Okay. okay. Y'all try. Experiment. <laughs> it's fun. It's big fun. Hey, it, don't challenge her to do something, because you know she's going to do it. <laughs> Uh, y'all, I have to tell y'all this. This is so funny. My husband called earlier. He always calls me at lunch. And I was talking to him. And I had to go to the bathroom. And he said, are you in the bathroom? And I said, yes, I had to go. And he said, you're not in there looking for supplies to make something else, are you? <laughs> I said, well, if I was, would I tell you? <laughs> okay, guys. Y'all have a great Monday. And I'll talk to you soon. Blessings.